Before the color purple and American Idol, Fantasia Barino was a single mother living on welfare in the projects. Now, who would have thought that after watching Ruben Stutter win that popular singing competition, Fantasia would feel inspired to take a chance herself. And with only 50 bucks in her pocket, she went off to the Great Dome in Atlanta and the rest is history. The Life is Not a Fairy Tale star has turned her life around for the better. She has released two albums, won a Grammy, wrote a book, and even starred in a TV movie about her own life. Compared to where she started, this woman is living the dream. But the soulful singer's fortune didn't seem to put the right man in her life for a long time. In fact, your girl has had bad luck with the men in her life. Despite the success, we just can't say the same about her relationships. Believe us, it has been more like a nightmare. And while we are proud of her contributions to music, we can't help but notice the scandal she has gotten into because of all the men she chose to get herself involved with. It's been one after another and far from the American dream. Fanny, as her fans call her, will always be our girl. But it's time for some tough love and airing out the dirty laundry, if you know what I mean. Welcome to True Celebrity Stories, your one-stop place for the hottest and juiciest celebrity gossip out there. Today, we are going to dive deep into the relationships that Miss Fantasia Barino has gotten herself into over the years and the scandals that have impacted her career as a result. She has overcome a lot in her past and it shows in the way she handles the men and her children in her life. So fasten your seatbelts because you will definitely be in for a bumpy ride. Let's get into it. Born in High Point, North Carolina, Fantasia Monique Barino had a lot of things happen to her at a young age. Unfortunately, it wouldn't all be good things. Though she began singing at the age of five, she was also having problems in school. These problems got so bad to a point where she dropped out in the ninth grade. You heard that right. Fantasia's first year of high school would turn out to be her last. Fantasia decided school was not for her. Instead, she chose a special someone, Brandel Schaus. They started dating when she was just 14. So you best believe Fantasia was in for a surprise when she became pregnant at the age of 16 by no one other than Brandel. She gave birth to her daughter Zion in 2001. Fantasia told Us Weekly that although she thanked God for her daughter, she would have waited a bit longer to become a mom. Even before a baby was in the mix, Fantasia was not living right with Brando. They were going to clubs and drinking together. With Zion in the picture, things only worsened between them. Brando admitted to domestic violence. There was a time when he even hit Fantasia in the face. Yeah, that's not okay. In 2002, he pled guilty to causing her physical harm. They split up in the following year in 2003, two years after Zion was born. Fantasia was raising her daughter on her own and things were starting to look bad. She fell on hard times. Sometimes she could only afford to eat noodles for breakfast. Oh, and dinner. Can you imagine having to eat that twice a day? That's not a good way for a sister to be living, but something was about to turn all this around. It was only a year later in 2004 that Fantasia would get her big break on American Idol. Man, can you imagine her baby daddy seeing her blow up on the big screen? It didn't matter. With her new fame, Fantasia was moving on. She had gone from a dark corner to being in the limelight, and things were finally seeming to get better. Her career was soaring high. By the end of the year, her single, I Believe, from her album Free Yourself, won top-selling single of the year and top-selling R&B hip-hop single of the year at the Billboard Music Awards. Her time on American Idol had now guaranteed her success. On a YouTube video that includes her winner moment, Glowing My Way commented by saying, almost 20 years later and this morning still gives me chills. And user Paris Judge said, the whole city of Fayetteville, North Carolina was crying when this popped off. This was the best season of American Idol, hands down. I love you, Fantasia. Such an inspiration. Started from the bottom and made it overnight, but there would soon be trouble in paradise. Big trouble. They say fame changes people, but it didn't change Fantasia's choices in men. Around 2009, the same year she performed at the Soul Train Awards, the Free Yourself singer started dating T-Mobile store manager Antoine Cook. He even starred in a reality series called Fantasia For Real that shed some light on their relationship. There was even one episode titled Love Affair, where one of Fantasia's family members is sitting down on the couch and confronting her about meeting a married man in a store, to which Fantasia replied, we're friends. 
Talk about the drama. But this would all really turn out to look bad once Paula Cook came into the picture in 2010. Oh, you may be wondering who she is and how she's related to Antoine Cook. She was his woman, his lawfully wedded wife. Except now, Paula had some lawful news for both Antoine and Fantasia. In August 2010, Paula accused the two of creating intimate videos and getting matching tattoos while she was still married to him. In addition to filing for divorce, Paula was seeking custody of the boys, along with alimony and child support. This woman was ready to take everything away from both of them. Things were not looking good for Fantasia. Although she stood by her claim that she thought Paula and Antoine were separated, the media was preparing to make our homegirl look like she was a homewrecker. This is where the downward spiral really took its course. Fantasia was at risk of paying a lot of money. Now, you may be wondering what Paula divorcing Antoine had to do with Fantasia's bank account, and we've got the explanation for that. North Carolina recognizes a law related to alienation of affection. Basically, it just means that it was about to be hard for Fantasia to get out of this one. Fantasia admitted that she was pregnant with Antoine's child, but had decided not to go through with it. Dealing with the stress of possibly having to fork over hundreds of thousands of dollars to Paula, Fantasia made a decision that would make headlines during that same month of Paula filing for divorce. Within that same month, on August 9, 2010, Barino was hospitalized in Pineville, North Carolina. It turned out she had overdosed on aspirin and some unknown sleeping aid. It was her manager who found her. She appeared on Good Morning America not too long after this <laughs> attempt to break down how she really felt. I knew what I was doing. You can't accidentally take a whole bottle of pills. I was tired of people doing me wrong over and over again. Dealing with men and their bull <laughs> it didn't work. I'm still here in this hellhole with all this drama going on. What's really ironic is that it would turn out Paula's accusation of Antoine getting with Fantasia in June 2010 was proven false. They had actually separated back in late 2009, way before Antoine started dating Barino. Now, you can't tell me that this ain't messed up. After all that pain, suffering, torment, and anguish that Fantasia went through, it would turn out that she was innocent all along? No doubt Paula had done that to tarnish Barino's reputation. Fanny's fans were arguing back and forth about it on several forums. On one in particular called Lipstick Alley, user Travel Tech Maddie said, so Fantasia was ready to give wife $100,000 for pain and suffering, but wife wanted to prove a point and didn't take it. Ended up not getting nothing but a side baby and cheater of a husband. Antoine Cook reconciled with his estranged wife Paula, leaving the American Idol winner with their one son Dallas and her daughter Zion. Some speculated that although Barino ended her first pregnancy between them, she went ahead and had the baby the second time around because she wanted to keep him. That is not the best way to keep a man, sis. But in an odd turn of events, she got to keep in touch with Antoine after all. In 2013, he and Fantasia reportedly shared custody with their son, and all the bad beef has been squashed. She even took to Instagram to express gratitude for the relationship she now has with Antoine and his wife. Tasia was getting back to herself, releasing her album Back to Me with the decision to focus on the future despite her struggles. She began focusing more and more on her career and even started fasting to rid herself of past toxic relationships. She told Billboard that she brought a ring and married herself. She then said, some man has to top this because I'm worth it. She also wrote down all the qualities she wanted in a husband. In 2014, while visiting a bar in the Hyatt Hotel in North Carolina, some drunk man started causing a commotion to the point where Fantasia wanted to leave. Suddenly, a man named Kendall Taylor, the chief operation officer of a courier company, approached her and apologized for his friend's behavior. The two instantly hit it off, but not so fast, Fantasia. Though it looks like she had been crossing her T's and dotting her I's by saving herself for Mr. McDreamy, fans were quick to point out Kendall's red flags. It wasn't long before his mugshot appeared, along with his extensive rap sheet of red flags. Putting his hands on a woman, possession of both drugs and a weapon. But come on guys, the world couldn't be too hard on him. He had made it clear that he had turned his life around since then. He had even become a mentor for a youth. It looks like their resilience was something both he and Fantasia had in common. It was really seeming to be like Kendall was the one. At one point, he showed off a tattoo of the singer's name on his chest. He even encouraged Fantasia to get a prenup. They split up in 2015 the same year that her grandmother had passed away. They got back together and later that year, they had a lavish ceremony. 
She even credits her husband for helping her cultivate a newfound passion for books. When Kendall came into her world, her whole life changed. He gives her the love she deserves. I'm not the same Fantasia, and I love the queen I'm becoming. Well, it looks like she really did meet the man of her dreams after all. There is no doubt that our girl deserves it, especially after all the drama that she had been through. Her fans surely seem to agree. YouTuber Deborah Johnson 6834 commented, she's older now, she's married, seemingly happy and equally yoked. Can we say move on? All right, so Fantasia has been in and out of the limelight since then. Her Instagram page was popping while she was starring in the color purple, and she continues to update it with her latest poses and hairstyles. But what's the update on the men in her life now? Fast forward to last year in 2023, where Fantasia had opened up to People Magazine about her parenting style. I want to break generational curses, she said. We're all for that, Fantasia. You go, girl. Dallas Xavier Barino, the son of both Fanny and Antoine, just turned 13. Both parents took to sharing sweet birthday tributes on Instagram, but we know the question you all have in the back of your minds. What about Paula? Well, can you believe this post Antoine made on his LinkedIn account last year, as in 2023? It goes, personal post because this is a huge milestone year for my wife. Happy 50th, Paula Cook. Huge milestone. My wife? Seems like old boy had no intention of ever leaving his wife. Remember that forum I mentioned earlier? Another user, YSL Beauty, commented, SMH, you lose them how you get them. A dog will eventually find its way home in the end. Fanny, you got to do better. Focus on your kids and career now. He was a married man. I hope this ain't come to a surprise to Fanny. What has come to a surprise is that to this day, Fantasia is most dealing with shenanigans, not only having to deal with her first baby daddy, but now her second baby daddy who is and continues to be a married man. The good news is, in all of this, that Fantasia now goes by Fantasia Taylor, as seen on her Instagram. Fans were skeptic after she married Kendall after only three weeks, but look at them now. They're going on nearly a decade of love. So there you have it, folks. From humble beginnings in North Carolina to American Idol fame to renewing her vows with the man of her dreams, our girl Fanny surely has come a long way. But what do you think about her past relationships and its impact on her career now? Do you believe that Fantasia was able to bounce back and be resilient? Do you think that Kendall is the one and she won't get hurt again? Thank you for watching True Celebrity Stories. And don't forget to like and subscribe to hear the latest on the hottest celebrities with the juiciest details.